Hey everybody, um, super excited to be joining a collab with Rach and Bella's Crafts. And we're kind of just breezing through some fun little tips and tricks for junk journaling. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna kind of just show a way to make a bunch of fun little stuffed pockets and just kind of a quick little easy way to do it because all of it is together in a little kit, which I have a link to down below and you can go ahead and print it all out. So to start out, I printed the pages of the, of the kit. <laughs> you can see most of it through here. It's kind of just all spread out, but there's a ton of stuff. There are three main papers, just the same design, but in different colors. And um, it, then you can go ahead and start creating. And um, the three main pages I've print on regular weight paper, anything like this, like these little tags on ephemera, I print those on heavier cardstock. There is a backing um, page included that you can print on the back if you don't want it to be stark white, um, but that's up to you. There's also a bunch of these fun little ephemera pages and I went ahead and printed those on um, just a lightweight paper, just a regular computer paper as well. Just so you know. Um, but anything that have like the butterflies and the cute little tag pages, these are a cardstock, just a regular weight cardstock. However thick you want it. So that's what I did. I printed everything and then this isn't actually a page because this is two different colors. Did you notice? <laughs> um, I took all of the pages and cut them in half like this. Now, I am using some of them as pockets by folding it this long direction. And some of them I folded like this. And some of them I cut. You'll see the different variations. It just leaves a million options. Um, on one of them, I actually used one of these long skinny pages to come up like this and make a pocket here too. So you're gonna see a lot of different options, but let's just breeze through it. So I printed everything and then when I'm just hanging out, I cut everything, I ink everything. Um, if there's something I wanna sew, I get that done too. And then you just kind of have this whole little kit ready to go and just sit down and just whip out a ton of stuff. This really did not take me that long to put all this together after I got all of it cut out and inked. So um, I'll kind of show you some of the different options I came up with and we'll put some of them together. But to start out with, I had this little pocket and it was just from one of the long skinny folds. I'm grabbing one to show you, one of these. And then I just cut it right there. So then I get it about this size. I went ahead and used a half circle to go ahead and um, cut that out. And then I just sewed around the edges. You could glue, but this barely fits in there. This is really a stuffed pocket, which will be okay when it's glued in a book because it'll come in and out a lot easier. Um, but I just inked these and these are just straight from the kit and then put that in there. Um, and if you don't have a kit, that's okay. Like just gather a bunch of random stuff that you have and just go for it. So I'm putting this copy dyed lace down and I sewed around this little guy. You don't have to do any sewing. It's hundred percent up to you. I just like to add a little, I don't know. I like the texture of it. Okay. So then I just started arranging it, how I liked it. I had some little words. I didn't put the words in the freebie kit but I do have, I can link it as well. I do have this fun little set of words that I just, I find myself using again and again. They're just simple and beautiful. So I think I'll put this guy right here. Um, and there's one of the pockets, just like that. So onto the next, this one, I actually kept it just like this, the whole, half of a sheet, fold it in half, and then fold it a piece up to form so I have two pockets. Now I glued this part together because it formed its own little pocket. I left this part open because it becomes the pocket. 
So this one's glued because it already has a pocket. Um, and then I sewed all around it. So let me just show you what we've got here. So then after I sewed it, I had this little pocket here and if I can get it, I'll show you this little pocket right up here at the top. So this is just a piece of ephemera. I just kind of inked it and I wanted it long and skinny because, you know, you don't see a lot of tall, skinny pockets and I think they're kind of fun. So I decided to try something a little different. And then these are just all in the kit, just little fun little bits that I've inked up. I put just a little rivet in there and then um, just some twine just for fun. And then this one's super easy. I'm just going to have just a tiny collage with this little guy. It's a little signature. Back when people used to care about their handwriting, it's beautiful. And fun little butterfly. Stick that guy on there. I mean, I could put some lace, I guess, back behind or something fun like that, but I just wanted to keep it simple because there's so much coming out of the pockets. You could also leave this butterfly's wings up a little bit, depending on where it is in your journal, just to give it some dimension. So that one turned out awesome. Um, let's see. Okay, I've got this little guy. So this is the one that I took a half sheet of paper like this just a folded in half and then i had leftover from the one i cut earlier so it's just fun to use like every little scrap i love doing that so i had this piece left and i just folded it and trimmed it just a hair so it would fit my pocket and i brought it over the top like this to create another pocket so that's what we have here we have this little folded in half page and then this little pocket and I used a punch just to make the lacy edge just to add some fun um, and then I have a couple of fun little bits in there you could add a few more if you wanted there's plenty in the kit and then another little piece of ephemera that I folded just for journaling and that just goes right in there um and then for this one, I thought it would be kind of fun, Let's see if I can remember how it goes, to make this little flower card into a pocket all on its own. So I'm going to put a little glue on these three sides. I'm going to keep it up a little higher because I don't want my little card to get completely lost inside of my pocket. <laughs> That's happened. And I'm going to put this card right here. I'm gonna bring these guys up here for a minute you'll see why um and then I just have this little card that's gonna go right there in that little pocket just a little extra hidden spot um I'm putting lace here that's why I scooted these guys up they don't need all that room in that pocket if you don't want to you don't have to glue your whole thing shut because essentially I am gluing that pocket shut at that depth, but that's okay. I don't need it for what I've got. So just decide what you need. Um, and then there's this fun little definition in there. Um, I could come back through and add some charms here and there or um, just some other fun stuff, but you know, just add however much you want. I felt like it had enough with this. It might be fun to do another little rivet in the tops of some of this ephemera or whatever. Maybe something in this so people know that that's something you can pull out. Anyway, fun. Oh, and this one, if you want, it could be double-sided. Or you could just glue it straight down in a book. Either way. Either way, you're going to have something cute and fun. So there's another like to make these a display. Okay. Last one I decided is just a half sheet of paper. Um, and I decided just to show one option with no sewing on it, just because it's a good reminder that you don't have to sew. This is going to be a lot of glue. This pocket is never coming apart. Oh, I might've wanted to, you know, what? I'm really quick going to do this. 
I'll just eyeball it. I'm just gonna punch that little top part out. I just like it. It's just that little extra reminder of, ooh, there's a secret thing here. Um, so that's why I do that. Now these, I just have a bunch of, they aren't in the kit, these fun little guys, but you probably have stuff like that too, or some that you could enjoy like that. So tons of journaling right there in that pocket. All right, and this, I was gonna make this cute little girl into, oh, my glue, I have an air bubble, I love it. I wanted to make her into something, like a little corner tuck for this. So let's see, where do I need to put her? Right about, yay, thereabouts. Um, ooh, that is a lot of glue, and here's some more. Um, and the butterfly is also gonna be holding it down as well, because it is an easy place for that to fall out and get lost. So I'm gonna put that in there, I only glued the bottom of my butterfly so it can just act as an additional anchor to that. Oh, I forgot I was going to put my lace down. Take the butterfly up really quick. I want some lace on this one. Just a little. Here we go. A little bit of lace, and I just left it overhanging for now because we'll get to it. And then my butterfly will come back down here. And then that becomes a little tuck pocket. And it's still driving, drying. Ugh, having a hard time talking today. <laughs> it happens. Okay. And then I wanted a little phrase on there. So from my little word set that I like to use all the time. Okay. And again, you could add any other little doodads you want, but it's pretty busy, kind of a fun collage with the different ephemera in there. Um, and you could put that at an angle, just, hey, you can take that out. But super fun, and when you put this in a book, you could just glue on these three sides and make that another tuck spot if you wanted. There's always plenty of fun tuck options. So, gotta make sure I don't glue my ephemera in there. Anyway, um, and then I still had enough, I mean, I have like a ton, a ton more. There's some more definitions, some more fun little ephemera, some more butterflies, some more little labels. I mean, just enough that you can really get creative. And remember, I still had enough. I could make two or three more pockets um, with this. So you can just sit down and just go crazy with it but these are fast it's a way to streamline it's a way to make them look um pretty coordinated i mean the colors are all and the i the general feel of them is all very coordinated it's just fun just fun stuff and then you have you know five or six loaded super cute pockets ready to go i mean quick easy streamlined and the kit is linked below so i mean it's a win-win so i hope you'll check out all the other ladies helping out with the collaboration it's it's just fun to get inspiration from each other and i just love our community of crafters so go have some fun create something awesome and have an awesome day we'll talk to you later